Hi friends, Allison here with AJ's Inspired Life and I have June's flip through in my Fobonichi. As most of you know, if you've been watching my videos, this is the big green monster. My intention was to do a whole year in it and that simply is not gonna happen. The book is not able to hold it and I'm done with the book. <laughs> so I took out some pages. I will do a complete six month flip through but this is it in its current state. So for all of you that have been watching each month, it's completely grown and it's out of control. I mean, it's it's super wide. So today, let's flip through June and, um, and I'll show you what I'm doing to move on to the next, the last month. So I don't even know where June is. I probably should have marked it before I opened the video. Okay, here we go. So this was the last day in May. Let me get you guys in frame, there we go. So this is the last day in May, so here we go. June 1st. This is a scone bag from the Fair Scones, which is where the Scrapbook Expo was the day before, and so we had Fair Scones um, this day. And um, my family loves them, they're kind of a local thing. I don't know, everyone swears by them, but I personally, um, they're not my favorite favorite, but they're very good, so. I use the actual um, bag itself as just a pocket, and I put some cards in there. These are just Project Life cards. This is a Project Life card with a Project Life card on it. <laughs> so uh, this just notes that I got my glasses. This is I ran to Walmart and got some stuff there. Um, had dinner with my boy, which was lovely. Um, and then I did a ruck that day, so I'm really enjoying those. And we did trash and tacos, so we picked up trash as our service hours and then met for tacos afterwards. So that day was 4.5 miles, which is kind of cool, carrying our ruck, so that's fun. All right, so then I also, not only did I use it as a pocket, I used it as a tip in here. So this is, I don't do a separate page for the beginning of a month, so this is just June 1st. So this was a cutout like from the Happy Planners, like last year's Happy Planner or whatever, so I just listed some things there. My monthly goals, be present, eat well, budget, and gratitude. And then just some stickers. This is a, um, <laughs> a sticker off of like the cleaning spray that I got. Anyway, I just thought it was funny because I had the ice cream on it and stain free. Anyway, um, important stuff. I just made a note here that I'm closing my private practice this month and I have like mixed emotions about it. And so just, just working on that throughout this month. And then some birthdays and celebrations. June 2nd, I have you guys in frame, there's some glare, sorry. This is a um, cloth I got, I'm pretty sure I got it at Walmart when I was there the day before, but I loved the, you know, the advertising on the front and it's, you know, the miracle cloth or whatever, I don't know if you've heard of it, but you don't use any chemicals, it's just water, so I, um, I just use that as a tip in, I put a little note here, I said maybe I need an apron. <laughs> Because I'm not I'm not that excited about cleaning, but we'll we'll keep trying. So I use my new cleaning cloth today. This was a I don't know a, a tag off of something that I just I used as the as the flip. So I just uh, this is my favorite punch as you guys know. And then this was some old scrapbooking paper. I just cut out the circles and put them on here. I did my normal watercolor on the back because you guys know I kind of have the aversion to the white paper, so I need a little something. And uh, we're just getting into June. The kids are still in school and uh, getting ready for summer. So it says my boy had training for his summer job. Uh, my husband and I worked and um, still need to clean the dining room table, tackle my craft room. I can tell you right now it's been a month and the craft room's not done. I'll just give you that little forward foreshadowing there. So um, yeah, just some notes. I put a little sticky thing in here. Uh, okay, the third, this was <laughs> um, a little note about happy mail. If I ever find like little snippets with cute little mail on it, I just cut it out and I put it in a little pouch. So I mailed out a, a little unicorn pack of happy mail this day. And then uh, did fasting and coffee. So this is off my coffee, one of my coffee things. It says life's too short to drink bad coffee. So when I finish the, you know, the box or whatever, then I cut that out and put it in there. I hit the gym, it looks like, and, um, oh, date day. Oh, <laughs> I think it said, I think I put a sticker over it. I think it said date night, and then I put date day. And I just said we take the quality time whenever we can get it because um, my husband works crazy hours, and then, you know, the kids have sports and whatever else. And so 
I don't even know what we did. I think we went to lunch or just walked down to the park or something, but we just try and make quality time when we can have it. We don't have a set date day every month or every week, but we just take it. So uh, we had a doctor's appointment today, my daughter and her doctor's appointments, I tell you. So they sent us for an x-ray on her elbow. And then this was, um, this was a little bag. I don't think it's from this day in particular, and I don't know why I don't think it's from that day. I just don't. I think it was from a prescription. Anyway, I made it into a pocket. This was a note about my boy who uh, made um, NHS again this year. So I just put, I'm very proud of him for his third year, and he was voted in as an officer. So I just, um, I just honor that about him. That's outside of his comfort zone in terms of taking on a... Um, you know, a position, but, uh, he did it and, and he did great at the ceremony and it was, it was just really cool to see that. So neat little memory on the fourth over here. I just had this from a, um, actually from this program from this day, they had a, a class schedule, if you will. And it had, you know, it listed like this. So I cut off all the classes and I just listed it. Tuesday is my long day at work. And, um, so I just listed like sessions and, little happy faces or how they went. And, um, my husband left for California for three days. Um, he never likes to go. I'm always super excited for him. I just, I don't know. I think it's a great opportunity with his business and everything. And he's always like, not his favorite thing to do is be away from the family. So, and, um, so tonight I drove to soccer and then I went to the thrift store to see they do fundraising there. And so I grabbed their little thing on that because we need to fundraise. And I went to the market during, uh, looks like during soccer. Wednesday the 5th, this is like a border sticker from an old like scrapbooking thing. This is a Dollar Tree butterfly, I'm pretty sure. Um, 7 a.m. gym. I cut these, they were kind of cute little tabs off the iced tea. We've been making lots of iced tea, so I make a big pot of it and then, you know, leave it for the kids. And then, so Wednesday the 5th, I put, oh, no clients today. I switched them around this week and so I got some time alone today and since I did not get it on Monday Monday's my day that I like to anyway um, I filmed a flip through and I caught up on video so it was the fifth oh the fifth last month too that I did uh, the video that's funny and today's the fifth of July if I did not mention that so that was the fifth of June okay so Thursday the sixth these are old scrapbooking stickers again I'm trying to use my stash and um, some washi tape and then half of like a mandala from the dollar store. I just kind of wrote some stuff about work. Work's a little crazy. Um, I drove all the way home to grab my daughter and then back out to soccer. Um, I just put, I have extreme emotions about her driving soon. And um, I will miss our time together very much. And... And I'm a little scared of her driving, to be honest. Uh, you know, all of that. My older son, my son obviously is the older one and he drives. And once he started driving, we just, it was like he was driving and it was the norm. Um, for whatever reason, this one feels a little different to me. So I'm just trying to take it all in uh, day to day, I guess. So she's now in driver's ed as we currently speak. So anyway. And this drive out here to soccer, I think that's why it was on my mind, is particularly far. It's about 45 minutes and um, some pretty pretty tough freeway and highway kind of transitions. And so I'm not too sure when that all will happen. So, And a little note about gratitude. Put that in there. All right. The seventh, um, I just did some goals. This was kind of a day that I had to do some stuff for myself. It's Friday. And my clients at my private practice um, are low just because I'm transitioning out. And so this Friday, where I'm normally at work, I was actually home and able to do some stuff. So this was kind of a light week for me in general. So um, the gym and the dreaded weigh-in. Um, I don't know why I sign up for these things. It gets me all twisted in my head. I just want to be strong and lift heavy and improve my body composition. So I lost one pound, um, but I had a great workout. So... Um, the gym that I went back to had like a six week competition. And so every week, everybody weighs in and everybody is competing, um, in a team and individually. And I get a little, like I said, I just get a little twisted with it. I get a little like frustrated. And so I have to really, really focus on not what the scale says in terms of weight, but what the scale says in terms of body composition, because that's really what I'm concerned about. And then 
my numbers in terms of lifting or you know what I can do in terms of strength so I need to stay focused on that because if I focus on just the weight I get I get a little I don't know not happy we'll go with not happy how about that uh, I got my hair done and um, oh I put a little bunny here this is a shout out to Joanne um, just she had always done that and so I Joanne if you're watching I just that's for you so anyway I got my hair done see so and then a little new washi not washi what is this duct tape with anchors on it because my boy and I am always looking for boat um, boat stuff so all right Saturday the 8th a um, we did a ruck I made three tags I put in here we did a um, service ruck it was in memory for suicide prevention for service members um, for military and so um, we went to this this donut store and that was the bag I didn't actually have a donut but uh, it is what it is. So that night we went to see a movie. We went to see the Avengers. So I put it on this Project Life card and kind of wrote about it there. And then this is notes about my ruck. And then this picture is like out of a magazine, obviously. And I just cut it out and I put my free food day. And um, again, I'm trying to be very, very mindful of the food and how I eat and... Um, like how it impacts my body and when I eat and just all that so but on free food day like this is what I feel like I want to do like I just want to eat everything and the cookies and the crackers and of course I don't and of course if I do I feel sick but I just feel like oh I want a donut I want this I want that and it's like I I don't even really like donuts but um, they're just so sweet but anyway I just it just spoke to me how about that so all right, so that's the pocket there, and I think I just, that was kind of all of my journaling. I didn't, I put a little stuff up here. Um, I went to the ruck. My husband took my daughter to practice because she has Saturday practices right now before they go to nationals, and then the boy, um, and then we all had family time for movies. So that was kind of cool because that's not super common in these parts. Those of you with busy lives and teenagers know that. So, all right, so the ninth. Um, look at that. Yeah, this was a day. I have no idea. Um, I obviously prepped a little bit. Here's the other half of that bag that we saw a couple pages ago. I don't know what happened on this day. I don't know what happened on this day. I have some things in my planner, obviously, and I meant to go back and do it. And I finally just chose to kind of let it go. I'm going to just let it go. Um, I did prep it with this pocket that I already made though, that I really like. And then I just, I, I don't know, but it didn't happen. So there's that. All right, Tuesday the 11th, here's that same kind of time thing from that class thing. And I did the same thing. I just kind of wrote my day because it's a long day and that's what we do. Some stickers. This is another pocket. I did not color the background of these pages. I did not prep my pages ahead of time this week. And I was like, I'm not taking the time to do it now. So this is one of the pockets that I made. I stuck a card in here. Um, about workout and eating and whatnot and then I have these little journal prompts I started it here um, that we're doing at work and so I just said oh I'll do them too and so these were today's so I stuck those in and just plain happy Tuesdays as you guys know are pretty basic most of my days are pretty similar throughout the week and because um, we're on a schedule so we just their work you know and so here's the journal prompts for this day I made a pocket this is like some can you guys see that? Some paper, like that art craft paper, art cut, laser cut, I don't know. What I've done is I've used it so much for a stencil that it's all these different colors. It was it was black or something underneath, I don't know, white on one side. And anyway, um, I've used it so much for a stencil. It was starting to get like weak. Uh, and so I just cut a piece out of it and kind of made a pocket. I didn't even adhere it on one side. So I just kind of gently put it there and then I put some cards inside so I made a note here about my boy and journaling on the back and then my note about work that day with journaling and then I apparently was going to journal about something else and I did not so I will I'm going to leave it there because I'll go back through and double check like my notes in my planner and whatnot and if there's something else that I wanted to make note of so I have the memory I'll put it in there and if not I'll probably pull the card uh, so I have it. Not that I need more or that I'm running short, but okay. The 13th 
uh, I had prepped these pages again. I did a little bit of paint, not too much. This is just um, some cut out from a magazine or a catalog. I cut out the border there. This is a pocket here. And then I made some um, cards to kind of talk about what we did. So we went to physical therapy and I just put, and we're back because we're like a revolving door at, at PT. So um, it's great because they know my girl and they work really well with her. But anyway, this was for her elbow. So the previous note, we had gotten the x-ray and all that. And then this note is just about no gym today. I just couldn't make it work. It was another crazy day at work. And then I got uh, Rue to her appointment and then straight to soccer. And my husband's working crazy days. And my son is prepping for a race this weekend. And we're still in school. So it's the 13th of June. So for those of you that were already out, uh, we were not. Um, let's see. So as she was at her appointment, I went and gave blood. So I did that, and then there are my journaling prompts today. So interestingly enough, like it says something I was proud of, and I just put I gave blood today. All right, the next day is uh, the 14th, which is Flag Day and um, the president's birthday. I put, these are my journal prompts. This is the front of a, the box, uh, the label from the boxes that I bought to start packing up my office. So I just put that in there. This, um, oh... So I made some cards, one, two, I just did that. Um, this is about Flag Day and our president's birthday. And then um, and then we. I took my daughter to get her driver's permit this day. Holy cannoli. It was a great experience. I'm super proud of her. She handled her anxiety well. Um, we were able to meet my husband afterwards for some lunch. That was super fun. And then here's the ticket, like from us waiting, like our number that, you know, when she was waiting. And then I made a note here about terminating clients and like my work day. So after, after I took her that morning and we had lunch, then I went to the office and saw clients for the um, afternoon and evening and, and terminating. So, uh, it's just a process, but we're halfway through the month. So it's coming along. All right. The 15th, no ruck today. This was, it looked like a messy page. This in the background right here is a piece of uh, background paper. See all of this? It's like splattered and, and written on with those crayons and just all that kind of stuff. So I just like glued it across and um, scribbled some stuff like that. Okay. No ruck today. Uh, my daughter had practice in a scrimmage, all that kind of stuff. The boy's sailing. So there's the little sailboat for that. My husband's obviously working. And then my journal prompts again, it was a whole sheet of a week. So I just filled those out so we could talk about it in group, you know, the following week. Let's see, Sunday the 16th was Father's Day. So I just, this is a Project Life card and, and some stickers and I don't know, some more stickers, journaling prompt. And I just put boring day. My husband did not want anything um, because he might be buying a new set of golf clubs and it's something obviously I'm not going to buy for him and he needs to pick them out and and do all that so and then he didn't want to do anything except clean the house which we were all like totally grumbling about or whatever but we did it so I spent most of the day cleaning and then we had a great dinner uh together so and then I started a new sewing project today because as I was cleaning and cleaning out the closet can you guys see that um you guys know I if found I've been working on the closet I found my sewing machine not that I didn't know where it was I just had to unbury it and so I plugged it in and I had bought these ties these really cool ties and I thought it would be fun to start the project on Father's Day just because ties and Father's Day not that we get my husband one or anything but um so these are snippets from some of the ties that I started on this is Monday the 17th, and I just did some a little bit of art journaling. I don't know why. This just spoke to me that day, and um, I just put, holy smokes, these are the days I realized I needed a break. Um, it was supposed to be my normal Monday home alone um, to journal, YouTube, etc., and, and how I look forward to my quiet time. I went to the gym at 7 and then came home. But my husband got home early and was home by 11 o'clock. And um, it's good. I put, it's good, I know. But like eh, I said, ended up having a productive afternoon. But I miss my creative time. And I'm realizing very much that I 
kind of depend on that Monday time to set, to set myself up, you know, for success. Like I'm not ta- like I do, I do do grocery shopping and whatnot usually on Mondays, but I, it's my creative time. It's my time to really kind of get my mind straight. And that includes exercise and that includes journaling and just being creative. And so, um, I love having him home and, or the kids home for that matter. It's just, it kind of throws a thing into my schedule. Right. And so it's not quiet meditative time where I can sit and listen to music and just journal and, um, or, or watch, you know, you guys on YouTube or whatnot. So anyway, just awareness, but I mean, it was good. We had a great afternoon together and, and got lots of stuff done. It was just like a, sh- a shift, you know, when you're like, Oh, I'm on this plan, but then it's like, Oh, I got to do this today. So, uh, so that was, that was that day. Uh, The next day is the 18th. Again, using the same thing. I just marked my client hours and then group and then meeting and I just put work day. It's crazy. Uh, They're getting pretty intense. Headed home again, grabbed my daughter back to soccer until nine o'clock almost every night. Getting home at 945 nightly and um, and then they're now going into finals tomorrow for the next two days. So uh, they're they're handling it but it's a lot. This was a little strip of that paper that I think Elizabeth showed us how to make and she got it from someone else. So I will not even try to say it was my idea at all, but I really enjoy using those snippets and it's fun just to like be able to pop a border in there really quickly. So I love that. Let's see on the 19th, it was a work day. It was a Wednesday and I worked nine to four, five o'clock gym and then to soccer until nine. These are our days. The boy had his after school. He had work after school and my husband's working long days. I put this in here because one, I love the colors, but two, I bought a Ray Dunn and I love, I love the Ray Dunn stuff. Um, I bought a Ray Dunn bulletin board for my office and that's what this tab, uh, tag came on, which I really, really like. So I made a little note here that I found a cool board. So it just, it was really the last piece to my office that I really was looking for, for a space on one of my walls. And so I just, it all kind of came together. So I loved that. Thursday, the 20th, uh, I got an order from my lady boss. So stuff, I was excited. So I got that and it was another work day and trying to just figure out my new schedule. It's pretty intense right now and trying to make it work. And then again, my husband's been working crazy days, like 12 days straight, 15, it's just nuts. And so we're just in work mode, really. The kids are in finals. Uh, They nailed their finals today. They're so ready to be done, but they really felt both really confident about it and uh, drove to soccer again this evening. And I think we're just all tired (laughs) and ready for a break is basically this I put in here because I could have ripped it off and put something else here. This I put in here. This is another example of why I should not pre-plan, but he was scheduled to get his hair cut today. And so I put this here and I was going to put like the little picture of him or whatever, like a little note from the groomer that they add and it didn't work out. I got out of work late and I couldn't, I couldn't get him where he needed to go and be able to pick him up. And my husband was working late, blah, blah, blah. Right. So had to cancel the appointment, but I'd already stuck this stupid thing on my page. So I just made a note of, I'm not going to do that anymore. I might tuck things. I often tuck things in pages anyway, but I'm not going to glue them on anymore because Now it's stuck on this page and Buddy didn't get a haircut that day. That's the end of that story. But look at this cute card. I got the most amazing happy mail today from Miss Elizabeth and this was the card. And I think, yeah, so I wrote about it and then I just, I'm going to cover this up. I just, happy mail from sweet Elizabeth and really unbelievable. I'm continually amazed at the amazing community of art loving people. Elizabeth has always, um, or always continues to inspire me and I honor and can, um, our connection and our friendship. So sweet Elizabeth, thank you so much. I'm going to do a whole separate video on that because I'm going to show you what, what I have in store for what she sent. But anyway, I, I thought it was perfect. So that was that. I loved it. Yay. Friday school's out. Okay. This was the most amazing day, you guys. So Friday, the 21st, um, it's been a little nuts around our house. Like I've been saying, my husband's been cleaning and the kids have been in finals and blah, blah, blah. So went to work, school's out. They both have plans afterwards and it's getting crazy. Like I don't understand. And so I was supposed to volunteer for the soccer team to get some of our hours in. And then my husband was working, but he got off early. And then my daughter canceled her plan. It was nuts. And it was just one of those things where it's like, okay, let's just wing it. We'll just wing it. So come to find out part of the reason it's nuts is because 
my sweet, sweet friends flew in from California to surprise me for my birthday, and I was blown away. I had no idea. And so I just, I made a note here about that. I said, this is nuts. It's a crazy day, and everything was getting changed around. So, um, and now I know why. It was such a sweet thing, and she... She and her husband, and obviously my husband, have been planning it for months, and they totally surprised me, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, I've known about other surprises in the past, not this one. I was blown away. And so we shifted real quick. We shifted. It was really cool. So um, on a smaller note, then, is the kids' last day of school, and so they're super stoked to be out and, and did really, really well and feeling ready for summer and a break. So... Super exciting. So my friends were here for the weekend and then that led into um, the 22nd. We went to an amazing friend's restaurant for breakfast and they sang to me and started off the birthday with a fun little birthday breakfast. And then we went up to Seattle and did kind of sightseeing things. And so I just made a note about this. This is obviously the menu from the, the best chowder place ever. Um, and we waited like a half an hour to eat there or whatever. But And so then I just covered it with some paper that I think I got from Elizabeth in a previous Happy Mail. Or maybe it's one of mine. I'm not too sure. And used that for my journaling. I put my little thing in here from like parking or whatever. And just kind of, you know, did an easy, easy page that day. All right, the 23rd. So this is my actual birthday. And I just kind of made a birthday themed page. This was a uh, card that I got and I used the envelope and then just wrote a note in here on, on some birthday memories or whatever we did. Now you can see this is getting hard to manipulate. Like I, like stuff's getting caught in the corner. It's definitely difficult to work on. Excuse the thumping upstairs if you can hear it. Holy smokes. Anyway, so this is my birthday page. We had a great day and I documented it that way. All right, on Monday, um, 624, they left, my friends left early, early in the morning. And this is what my friend always says to me. And so I found that card and I just put it in there. And this is the day my daughter started driver's ed because it's the first day of summer, right? So we can't have a relaxing day. We're going to go. So um, she wanted to drive home, obviously, on the way home from driver's ed. And so I had to take a deep breath and just go for it. So this is the first time I've driven with her. So I took a picture of her driving. This is me in the passenger seat, obviously. Um, my husband's driven with her a little bit more and I I have not been ready. <laughs> so, so this is that picture. I went and got some um, prescriptions picked up. I picked up her contacts that morning. Um, and then again, this is Monday, right? So I said my free day. Uh, flew by so much to catch up on. Uh, I went to the gym and I drove to soccer and the days are starting to just run together. So this is a uh, tissue paper in the back from one of my birthday presents. And so I just modge podge that down. It's like a polka dot thing. I don't know if you can see it. it's pretty bright. I just used that for the background that day. All right. The 25th kind of like, I, again, Tuesdays they're slammed. This was like a work quote a little bit in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity and I just put crazy work day my boss is out this week so it's just me running the office running her groups running my groups all of it so a little crazy but my normal watercolor background Wednesday the 26th uh, Rue left this morning for California for playoffs so I just uh, grabbed this little this is from a McDonald's bag <laughs> They have an airplane on it. I don't know why. But anyway, I, of course, grab it and ripped it. And I was like, oh, I'm keeping that. So that's a little note there. Uh, this is, you know, my thing I do with the envelopes. You guys have all done that with the security side of the envelopes. And so it makes a little pocket. I just made a little tab there and did some journaling there. And a little cutout from a magazine that I had. I don't know why she's in here. or It doesn't symbolize anything specific. I just thought she was very sweet and kind of went with that day. All right, Thursday the 27th, I put another work day. These days are long, um, hard sessions. My husband's working crazy days. The boys working every day, then to practice. Uh, the team in California, uh, my daughter's the catcher, um, the keeper, whatever. Um, and one of her things is like a dream catcher. So I put that on there to kind of symbolize her. And um, fortunately, down in California, they were about three hours, two hours from where we used to live. And so lots of the family was able to drive down and watch her. It was pretty cool. And then she got to go to lunch with them afterwards, which doesn't normally happen. So she was, she was pretty stoked that, that she was able to do that. So that was nice. 
Um, Friday the 28th, I went to the gym at 5.30 in the morning. The boy left this morning to go up to Orcas uh, to race for the weekend. And then this was my last day in my office, in my private practice, which is kind of a big deal. So this was our, um, I don't know, advertisement. You can see it there. That's like the symbol on the card of the business. I, this is ironically, right? This is the Kleenex box from my office and like my last client used the last tissue. <laughs> so as I was replacing the Kleenex box, I'm like, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to take a piece of it and use it. So this is the, the last Kleenex box from my private practice clients that anyway, so that will just always know. I know what that is after that. I did go to Chick-fil-A today and, um, that's just, my way of sitting quietly and enjoying that. I made a tab here and um, just tucked it in there. I used this as a flip through and I found um, this picture, which I really liked. And I just put that there. This was a sweet card, sweet, sweet card um, from my boss at work saying goodbye. And so uh, I tipped that in and then I I packed up my office and I said goodbye to my private practice. So it's been 10 years, um, 11 years. So uh, that was kind of a big deal. So kind of a kind of a good day, but emotional for sure. Saturday the 29th, uh, my daughter's still playing soccer down in California. And let's see, <laughs> uh, my son is racing. And so I journaled on the back here and I... Uh, what did I do? Oh, today, <laughs> today was our challenge at the gym. This was the end of the six weeks. They had a competition this day, um, for weightlifting and like all this stuff we had to go through. And so we did that this morning. It was okay. I did all right. I have not been feeling well. I had a little bit of a stomach bug for like three days. So I did fine. Um, and then I went to McDonald's because I met someone in the parking lot there to pick up some stuff. Um, and I was starving. It was like noon. And so I put, I get the irony. <laughs> and then this little card I liked, this is from some sort of packaging. It says, be your own hero. And then this night, my husband and I had date night and there was a food truck festival out, um, kind of by us about 40 minutes away or so. And so we went and we just had the most lovely time in the park and with music and um, we tried a couple different food trucks and it was just lovely, just quality time. And we walked around the lake and Buddy buddy loved it. So this is uh, Sunday the 30th and I put goodbye to June. I made a little bit of a, a goodbye page and um, I just put some favorite memories. I didn't really document. We didn't have too much going on this day. I did note up here you can see, let's see if I can get you up here. Right here is the number of each page, right? So you can see... Each page is numbered and it went to like 350, no, not, I don't know, 350, 320 or something, but I ripped out the rest. So this is the number of days I journaled, 181. So even if there were blank pages or whatever, there's a page for every day. So I just kept that. I think, I think that's kind of cool. I did note the weather at 78, so it is becoming um, summer. And then I found um, this little guy down here. Can you see him? And I put goodbye to the green, big green monster. So that is it for my June, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. I so enjoy watching your flip through. I will do a flip through of um, all six months, uh, a speeded up version uh, to show you everything in this guy. But that's the end of June and the end of six months in the big green monster. That's it for me, you guys. Have a great day. I hope you find something that inspires you today. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.